In this video, we will talk about how to get started with Gemini's cool features and hidden gems. And trust me, give me a few minutes, I will help you get started on this without no code approach. And I am Pritam Sahu, I talk about AI, this is my channel. And in case you are excited about agentic AI and want to get started on agent space on Google site, just have a look on the TEDx platform where I have recently given a talk there. And also I'm releasing a book on demystifying generative AI for everyday people. So let's get started. So there are a bunch of features you might not have explored on Gemini, right? I am going to talk about them and different ways you can access them. So the first one, the way to go to Gemini uh, for everyday user is uh, gemini.google.com. And if you are an enterprise user, probably you would embark Gemini on Vertex AI platform. So that's the discussion out of scope here for today. We will be exploring gemini.google.com to get you started. So the first one is about the cool little features people don't even talk about, right? Your storybooks. So here you can generate cool little storybooks and get you started. For example, uh, generate a storybook on Tom and Jerry for my six years. So immediately it get you started on storybook. And this is one of the gems or apps probably you might not have discovered. And, and this is a very good way. And in case you want to get started on something else, definitely it will give you the, the look and feel of a publisher or an author where you can pen out your stories and articulate it. And even you can export it and share it as well, which we will see in this demo. It does take some time. So while it generates, let's see what I have done earlier. So I have done a Tom and Jerry storybook here, a puddle dance, and it clearly shows my name, right? So you can just flip the book and clearly start it. And the best part, you can even listen to it at a low pitch or a high pitch, and you can print a PDF and and save it to your desktop and share it with other people as well right here the share button is there create a link of it right you want to share on the platform and even sell these books and and monetize that and it's your book complete so let me move on to the next hidden features of this so the blog post writing a blog post where you want to get started very quickly on how on writing the interesting topics and for example i want to write a blog post on the history of gemini so let me do one thing let me go to the new chat and say, please write me a blog post on history of Gemini. Uh, the details about history of Gemini and how it evolved. Initially, if you are aware and following Google for some time now, you might have heard it was Bard previously and it was got rebranded, renamed to Gemini and so forth, so on. So here you can see different milestones and everything. So that's how you get started. So let's move on to another interesting use case, right? How often you are bogged down by long, lengthy documents. Might be Word, might be PDF, or might be if you're working in a, in, a, in a company, you might get thousands of pages and you want to understand a quick summary. And this is this is not new. It was introduced earlier with Notebook LM, which is, my, of course, my favorite tool. We'll see there. I will upload a PDF here. So it's about some cloud platform uh, document. And let me suggest... Please summarize this PDF with key pointers. And here you go. So you can see we quickly got key PDF pointers. It talks about AWS and Google enter the letter in App Engine, the core service comparison, choose Google Cloud, right? Quite handy indeed. So now let me go to Notebook LM, right? And don't get bogged down by I'm moving across the screen, but it gives you a better feel of Notebook LM dot google.com and let me and what we'll do is we will do the same way of highlighting this right so here so you can go to google drive or upload documents i will upload the same document and once it is done i will start asking question the same question please summarize this pdf for me with key pointers. And if you're not aware, Notebook LM is the tool that went viral for creating your podcast. It creates a two persons uh, communicating in a conversational style in a realistic human-like voice and gives an interesting aspect to your uh, boring monologue written documents, right? You can try it out that self. And in case you want to see, do check out my earlier videos on where I have talked about Notebook LM. And, and also one of the interesting feature about Notebook LM is video part, which has also been just incorporated very recently. If you are following Google Cloud Tool products, just this is where, just click it, it creates that video aspect of it, right? So 
let me move back so you have come back to the gemini home screen and here right so one of the interesting use case is about uh, the vision capabilities which it has got inbuilt we'll talk about something else but here i'm talking about the vision capabilities in in case you have a document or an image rather and you want to understand what is that inside the image it becomes very handy way to read those images for example i have an architecture diagram you might have something else as well so this is the png file i am trying to upload and and it is done and i say please describe this image for me let's see what output it brings out right so once that is done it will clearly explain what the diagram is about so if you look at the diagram here you can see the diagram says about creating a gaming architecture or a server on google cloud platform with google bigquery which is the data warehouse and there are some virtual machines and a lot of other services as well right load balancers and so forth so on so let me go back and see what it has done so you see uh, it has clearly cried out uh, the core logic where it should deploy app engine is the pass service uh, compute engine is the virtual machine and it talks about google bigquery we saw in the diagram as well and it clearly described how you can get started with this gaming architecture understanding and once you have the architecture in case it's very complex do try this option out i strongly recommend so for example i want to generate a video so it will chat a new start and and i want to use this image as a part of video generation uh, probably you can have a better image so it has two capabilities uh, uh view uh, text to image as well as well as image to video so that's possible and the same thing can you can do it uh using vo3 in your ai studio as well so there are different tools for different use cases probably ai studio is the one uh, if you want to specific access of models probably developers might need that way but if you are a citizen centric user you want to get a hang of ai ml with google cloud especially generative ai gemini.google.com is the best way to get you started but yes nothing stops you to explore different tools even if you are keen a vertex ai platform rather and 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 check on console.cloud.google.com the capabilities which opens the door of immense opportunities for everyone here you go might not be interesting but at least it gives up some image of 3d view generated an image sometime back of uh, tom and jerry so what you do is please generate a video of this attached image and you can make prompt more interactive right this was the image created with imagine you can see that and and it's trying to create a video uh of this image so take a few minutes here so here you go so it has generated a cool little video right? sound, sound. So that's how you can generate and the same thing you can do with AI Studio, which we spoke about. So let us do one more thing, interesting thing for this demo. There are some hidden gems, as I said, deep research, right? So let me start a new chat. So I'm planning a trip to, for Japan for foodies. For example, let's assume this case. Or I say I am planning a trip for from India. Please help me plan this for one week's travel let's say it does a research it's uh, because i'm using 2.5 pro if you have seen already here and but be aware and mindful you need to log in to get access to more higher models so if you don't log in probably you might not see pro the reasoning and thinking model it clearly plans out a trip right more details and research capabilities reasoning thinking capable that's where the generative ai models are going forward so here you can see and start research it will take again a few time to understand what is planning and the right hand side it opens the the canvas window uh it's the same canvas window which you see while opening the storybook right so it propels you proper trip proper plan it gives you the sites it is researching right different sites maybe thousands or hundreds of sites which might be a monumental or heptic task for you to get you started imagine this power at your fingertips but just with a few lines of prompt or 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 few lines of inputs to the large language models like Gemini or AI Studio even, and you can get this out and you can do such fat checks and everything as well, right? So you can even do build as well, right? So let me say, okay, Tetris game with 2D effect with 
characters from blocks everything it started printing game modes sound and music okay try now so the canvas is built right inside uh, the gemini tool you don't have to go outside like some some other tools right download separately and and all those things what it helps is to get the preview of the tool so that you get a view how the game should look like in case you are a developer completely okay you can take the code which you will see it generates and get you the out so you can use the code in your uh, platform for your choice or integrated environment which you see right here the html code so that's the way it gets you started with the full view button and it's a cool handy tool if you are a citizen centric user and want to play a game even in the my one of my earlier videos you will get a details of how to create exciting websites uh, apps like twitter clone or games and and many complex things like uh, sales crm or a website right just do have a look on the video i'll put it in the description so that you don't miss out so here you go start the game here you go so you can see here the game things it's there started right so he, that's that's the way you can get started right so thank you again for giving your precious time to come back to my channel and do hit that like button and share button and comment for better engagement with me and do let me know what you want to see